are they all? So one of the advantages of course running Arch is latest software packages, quick updates, things on the ball. But one of the downsides can be uh, you might have to reinstall the OS a little bit more than some other distros. And of course, if you have a separate home drive as opposed to your root directory in different partitions or different hard drives, please tell me you have to configure it like that. Then reinstalling an Arch-based distro, you can really get back to a semi-working state pretty quickly. So, as you can imagine, for some of these videos and different times, sometimes I might mess up my machine and then I do a an reinstallation. And, you know, because everything's in a separate directory, I can get up and running pretty quickly. Now, one thing to bear in mind is if you want to reinstall all of your software, including software from the AUR. Now, you know, the standard warning comes about using packages in the AUR, but Let's be realistic, most people do that. So instead of, you know, reinstalling and after you've installed, having to manually go in and choose all your software packages, you can actually automate a good deal of it. So first thing here that I've got is just a standard virtual machine. I've installed Arch Linux on there, just uh, using uh, GNOME. And as you can see here, here has a bunch of packages just random packages I installed. Uh, I mixed packages from just normal Pac-Man as well as from the AUR and uh, tried to include some packages that also use 32-bit uh, libraries. So first thing to do is you actually have to tell Pac-Man to generate your list of packages, which seems pretty fair. So all you would do is in a terminals type sudo Pac-Man right and then what we're going to do is we're going to give it some parameters so it'd be capital q little q e okay and if i just run it like that and let's just type in the password it will show you all the packages that are installed so of course doing it like this is helpful but we actually need to input this to a text file so of course we're just going to pipe it out to package pkg list dot txt so let's hit it there okay great oh and if i now just minimize the terminal here and i go to home and i'm just opening it up the quick and dirty way you'll see that we have a text document with all of our installed packages in on it. So a couple of things to bear in mind if you are, for example, going from Arco to Arco, uh, you really shouldn't have to change too much. But sometimes if you're changing, let's say you're going from Arco to Manjaro, uh, you know, some of the packages, you know, might be slightly different, but you really shouldn't have many issues. What I would suggest though, is just make sure that you possibly remove any specific stuff for that distro. So what I mean is, let's say, for example, we were to go and install this on zero Linux. I would first just manually make sure I would take out all of these things that refer to Arch Linux. Um, oh, sorry, to Arch Linux, just so that you don't end up having random errors here and there. Or if you, for example, are deciding you're going to go back to KDE or something, then I would just manually go here and remove anything that talks to GNOME, uh, just so you have less clutch in the system. But for general overview here, we're going to literally just take these packages and dump it across. So first things first is to make sure there's no spaces, even at the bottom, otherwise the system won't be happy. So I'm gonna save this file first, and I'm going to transfer it to my host. I'm going to back it up. And in the meantime, I'm just going to get a fresh install ready of Arco. And then I'll show you how we can restore the packages. Okay, welcome to part two. So earlier, of course, I showed you an example of how we can 
export the installed list of packages on a Archbase install. Now I'm going to show you what we're actually going to do with that file. So, of course, essentially the most important part is we have the list. Now we actually have to do something with that list. So uh, it's going on here. This link, let's just reset that. So anyway, what I've done is installed a new uh, clean installation of Arco Linux. Uh, again, you could most likely do this with any uh, Arch-based distro. Uh, I just chose Arc because I did the initial extract of the files from from Arco. So I'm going to show you now what we're going to do. A couple of things I want to tell you, of course. Uh, we are including files from the AUR, so you have to bear in mind of the risks if you use AUR packages. I'm kind of assuming that if you're watching this and you're using an Archbase distro, you're probably already getting packages from AUR. Also, uh, you're going to have to make sure that Yay is pre-installed because this uh, example of this video, we're specifically using Yay. And also, uh, we're going to enable something called sudo loop which essentially if you're building packages on the AUR after every couple of minutes it times out if you, it's waiting for you to enter your sudo details and just adding this uh, keeps it in its memory so that you don't have to repeatedly keep going back and typing in your password. Uh, so I just want to show you here if you look at this install it's extremely basic. There's hardly any uh, software installed here. Very clean installation. And just to show you the uh, file that we've got, package, package list file is literally no spaces, always important, and the exact same uh, thing that we exported from the other system as well. So we should definitely get quite a bit more random bits of software installed so i've already uh done an update so i made sure we've got the latest and greatest software installed so the first thing i'm actually going to do here on this uh link is i'm first going to do a yay dash y dash dash sudo loop dash dash save right and that will of course allow us to uh, save the pseudo details for for the session now of course if you're going to be doing a massive upgrade or complex upgrade you know there are times where something really does change quite drastically in arch i wouldn't recommend uh, doing what we're going to do now but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to tell yay to read that package list file and literally, I'm going to copy this here. I'll put this in the link. But essentially, let, yeah, of course, the package manager, uh, that's a wrapper. Uh, no confirm. So, of course, yay must continue functioning without user info, the pseudo loop, so that we don't have to keep entering our pseudo details, dash s. Uh, so it installs the software. Dash dash needed is essentially only install the software from this list that's not already installed on the machine so by doing this it won't uh, end up reinstalling unneeded software and of course at the end here yeah, please read uh, the stuff in the package list so I'm gonna hit enter it's gonna ask for details and what it's gonna do is it automatically earlier showed uh, what was installed so it skipped that and now what it's doing is it's automatically downloading uh, the outstanding files that it needs. And I'll pause the video and resume it shortly. But yes, the nice thing about this, of course, is it's downloading from uh, all the repos. So essentially, if something is in the normal Pac-Man repo, it will download it from Pac-Man. If it's not a Pac-Man and it's only an AUR, it will download it from AUR. Uh, because some of these files are, you know, Arco Linux specific, um, it would download that from the Arco Linux repo. 
but of course let's say for example we were you know doing this in a different install so let's say you've made a list of your most popular software and you're going to install it on Manjaro or whatever then you would make sure you remove the stuff that specifically talks to Arca right because it's not going to find it and that's just going to cause issues uh, also let's say for example if you didn't install GNOME or now you've decided you're going to go use Endeavor XFCE or XF KDE or whatever you're going to use then then just remember on this to remove anything that refers to GNOME or GNOME so you don't you know install stuff you don't actually need uh, you know what you can also do is just create a, a smaller list as well of just the additional software that's not pre-built in as well so let's say if you use VLC that's there uh, Vim is there uh, Slack as an example roughly whatever just those instead of you know having stuff like network manager you could just uh, remove that man db because a lot of those additional packages you would find in almost every distro now that's just a little bit of a tip right there so what i'm going to do now pause the video and let this uh, system carry on doing what it needs to all by itself and we back so that took just roughly under about 45 frames to an hour and as you can see here on the history it was successful uh, something i forgot to mention earlier is if you do install this way if there are optional dependencies that are extra for an application it will doing this method will install those as well um, but as you can see it successfully installed software from uh, the different repos automatically uh, and no failures or issues and now of course let's just minimize that and if we were to look at the applications installed now you can definitely see compared to earlier it's gone and installed quite a bit of stuff so if I was for example to open gpodder again it's just a uh, random uh, software I selected uh, just to get a good overall bit of an idea of you know what's available out there and the nice thing is you can see so many of these different types of software will start up or, or boot up or whatever the case is so yeah hope uh, you will find this uh, useful again uh, bear in mind of course uh, some of the security complications and uh, while you're doing this I really don't recommend uh, leaving the machine out in the open because at that stage of course it is automatically still saved your pseudo credentials so as soon as it's done just close the terminal and everything should be fine Cool all, thanks for watching, as always, appreciate the feedback, and have a good one. Bye for now.